HTML5 charts, also known as high charts, provide a very flexible and extensive set of properties you can use to customize the look and behavior of your chart. But how to use these properties and how to understand what does what? All the options that you can tweak for a chart in Jasper reports are shown in Chart Properties. Edit Chart Properties. Simple Properties view shows only a limited set, mostly related to basic look and feel of the chart. Advanced properties are sorted under different categories. These categories correspond to the configuration options categories of the high charts API. To figure out how the configuration properties are used and what are the possible values, you'll need to go to high charts API page. Here you can see what are the possible configuration options and what values are expected. The way the configuration options uh, translate to the chart properties is that you replace the curly braces nesting with dot, something like plot options, series, color will be plot options, series, color, and it will be through the dot, all will be through the dot. There are particular categories of interest in the list. Chart. This category has general chart properties such as spacing, zoom, and etc. Legend. This category has properties for the chart legend, such as formatting, style, title, and others. The other category is plot options. This category has all the configurable options for different data visualizations, depending on the chart type you have, line, bar, column, etc. You will need to look into every category for uh, every chart that you have uh, separately. The next category that is interesting is tooltip. This category has options for tooltips, their formatting, their uh, style, and uh, whether they are even enabled. Other two or categories that are particularly interesting are x-axis and y-axis. These two provide all the options that you can use to manipulate with the axis uh, look and feel, for example, steps, uh, pacing, ticks, etc. When clicking on the option in the list, you can see what they do and what values they expect. For example, here we can Click on max and see it says the maximum value of the axis. If now the max value is automatically calculated. If and um, on tick option is true, the max value might be rounded up. You can uh, see what it's expected and you can also see an example of the usage. If you click on the link and you'll see a fiddle, here you can see the max option is applied. You can experiment with this and sets, for example, 100, uh, run the fiddle and see how chart changes after you change the property. Then you can translate this option from y-axis maxis set into here, y-axis max. You can also figure out what does the option do without leaving the studio if you hover over the property and wait a bit. It should display you the information about the property. When you want to change the value of the property, you double click on it. And here you can use uh, either property value or use an expression. Property value is a JavaScript uh, value. So you pass here um, JavaScript data type value. You pass here numbers, uh, strings, or other, uh, or other stuff. It doesn't uh, allow you dynamic values. If you want dynamic values, you can use expression, and here you can pass a Java or Ruby expression, depends on what expression language does your uh, report use. 